it's good to be with you again. What a blessing it is to see how God is carrying each one of us through this amazing and difficult pandemic. Some areas that are subsiding, others that are increasing, but God will see us through, through his grace. Now, some people ask, well, is this the final crisis? Is this one of the last seven plagues? According to biblical understanding, this is not the final crisis. This is not one of the seven last plagues, but it certainly is a precursor to what is coming. For I believe that Jesus is coming very soon. Biblical prophecy will be fulfilled. You can count on that. We are living in the last days of Earth's history. I want to draw your attention to the beautiful book of Philippians written by Paul. Uh, it's a marvelous book. I love preaching on the second chapter of Philippians. In the first chapter, Paul shares some beautiful thoughts, including in verse 21, where he says, For to me to live is Christ. What an opportunity to live for Christ during this pandemic and beyond as we share God's precious truth. Further on in that chapter, verse 27, it says the following, Only let your conduct be worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or am absent, I may hear of your affairs, your activities, that you stand fast in one spirit, standing fast in one spirit, in God's spirit, with one mind, understanding God wants us to be together in spiritual things, in understanding his mission for our lives, and striving together for the faith of the gospel. What an opportunity to be part of total member involvement, to be united in what God wants each of us to do, recognizing also that revival and reformation is the basis of our opportunity to share our faith. Coming close to the Lord through the reading of his word, through a study of the spirit of prophecy, through earnest prayer, and then sharing this wonderful gospel of Jesus Christ with others. It goes on to say in the first part of verse 28, and not in any way terrified by your adversaries. Don't be terrified by this pandemic. Realize that God is going to carry you through in a marvelous way as you place yourself in his hands, helping to share the three angels' messages of Revelation 14, helping people to understand the righteousness of Christ, recognizing that the Lord will guide us to the very end of time. He has promised to be with us to the very end. What an opportunity to truly trust in him. I'd like to share with you a beautiful uh, section from Christian Service. And on page 104 and 105, these beautiful, beautiful thoughts. It says, Christ is sitting for his portrait in every disciple. Everyone God has predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son. God wants each of us to be like Christ. And as you read in Philippians chapter 2, uh, which I referred to, uh, you can see that if we have the mind of Christ, we can truly live like Christ through his power. In every one, Christ's long-suffering love, his holiness, meekness, mercy, and truth are to be manifested to the world. What an opportunity to truly be part of sharing God's truth in these very, very final days in the post-COVID situation, which soon will come upon us. And then on page 105, this beautiful, beautiful thought. God asks us to give his service the first place in our lives, to allow no day to pass without doing something to advance his work in the earth. Be part of God's final proclamation. Be part of total member involvement. Be part of a message that brings healing to people everywhere. Let me pray with you. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for the way in which you have led us and protected and cared for so many. 
be with those who are suffering right now from this coronavirus. And Lord, be with those who have lost loved ones and be with each one who is now sharing and letting the portrait of Christ be shown in him or her, each of us, as we share Christ's love with others. Lord, we thank you for the promise of your soon return. Guide us now until the very end of time as we share this precious message of Christ and his love, his righteousness and his soon coming, and the power of the three angels' messages to change hearts, turning people back to the true worship of God, all through the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for hearing us. In Jesus' name, amen.